Hello and welcome back to my channel, Sammy's Witchcrafts. Oh, as you can see, we are away again in the van. Where we are, I couldn't tell you. I'm not very um, good with locations. But I'm sure if you go over to JP's channel, you'll find out where we are. So, yeah, I just got out the shower. At long last, the sun has finally come out. So, yeah, got back from Turkey. And all it's done is either rain, windy, or just be grey. It's really sort of like, come, in, come on, it's the middle of June. Come on, we need some nice weather. Fingers crossed. It has broken and we've, we've had a couple of lovely days. Anyway... What have I been up to? Well, travelling. We've had to have the, uh, some bits and pieces done in the van, which are all working well. So we've had a good tidy up in here in, before we come away, sorted it all out. Because there's nothing worse than having too much stuff. And it got to a stage where I couldn't even shut my cupboard door because of all the clothes in there. So it's all sorted. It's all lovely. Gladys is all right shiny where she's had a nice wash and everything we went to a little town the other day and uh there were charity shops and they were amazing and i got a few bargains so that's what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you what i've got so right, i need to put the glasses on because as you know i can't say without more glasses so i went into one charity shop didn't really see anything I always go to the craft section, you know, um, and that's what I did. And then I went into another one. Now, I think it was uh, ones for cats, I think. I can't quite remember. And uh, I went in there and I'm having to rummage through all the craft section. Loads of wool. But I didn't come out with any wool in that shop. And I got some more stamps. Now, the video that I did before this one, I did a little demonstration on stamps. And I absolutely love it. And there's a few people that were like me when you, you see these in the shops and you just didn't know how, how you used them. So if you go to the video that I did last, it will show you how you use these stamps. But I've got quite a quiet quite a few i think i paid three pound for them so i've got a selection of letters and numbers and some other bits and pieces like the arrows and i don't know if there's a question mark on there i don't know but it's got like an at sign and you you your brackets these ones need a little bit of a, a clean up. I need a little bit of care to them because they're being used. Zero and number nine. But they're not sticky, so I need to give them a really good clean. Put them in some warm, soapy water. And then hopefully bring them back to life. But if, if they don't stick on my little block that I've got, I'll stick a little double-sided sticky tape or something on there a little bit of blue tack or something something that i know that it will stick there's any other ideas out there that i could do by sticking that on there let me know in the comments so that was that also in that pack it's sort of like a, a steampunk which i absolutely love steampunk and this one's not been you, I think it's only maybe two that's been used. So yeah, I've got that in that little pack. I've got this one. This one's really cute. These are booty cats. And then what you can do is you stick them. It gives you sort of like a bit of a demonstration on the back there. Of that you can print it and then you can colour it in. I like that. I also got from there, and this was in this little pack that was £3. Um, 
I think only the butterfly is being used at the top there. You can tell that because if you look closely, you can just see that it's slightly a different colour from the rest. So the rest of them haven't been used, just the butterfly. So I don't know why people get rid of these, but thank you. Then I got this one and I was like, well, what's that? I can't work that out. Then I turned it over and realised it's like a little bunting. I think they're like Christmas decorations. So that'd be nice on a little card as well. And there's another one with some... I mean, this. I don't think... This one's not even... I think it's been opened, but I don't think it's ever been used. And the nice thing about this little... Um, collection is is you also get a stencil so you could stencil the first part so you do it sort of like a, a red or something or a brown and then you can then print on top because I think it's the same sort of it's the same size oh on the back here it's showing There's the two, and then the one in the middle is the stencil one. Or is it? Yes, it is. But no, you can do whatever you want with it. It's, it's your design. It's your, what you're making. It's your creation. And then this one, which I thought was quite... I mean, look, it's 5 nine to nine. That's what it was in the shop. And then I've got all those bits and pieces for three pounds. Bargain. <laughs> so that was in one charity shop. Oh, also I've got in that in that little bundle as well. I got an embosser. I haven't shown you the machine to use to use these yet. But that will be when I go home, which is not going to be for quite a while. You'll have to bear with me with that one. But this is where you, you put it, the paper in between. It's like a make up a um, bookmark. And you put it in between, your paper in between. You then close it up, put it through the machine. And when it comes out, you've got the imprint of butterflies. I love butterflies. So you get the imprint of the butterflies and, and the flowers. Also in that little pack. Now this is the first time I've had one of these ones. And this is made from a, like a sponge. But it come in that pack. That's been well, well used, well loved. And I've got these two that come in it as well and I'm sitting there when I, we'd gone and had a, a coffee and I'm sitting there and, and I'm trying to work out what it's saying and all of a sudden I thought to myself it'll be on the um, on the top <laughs> I sat there for ages and I'm sitting there what's it, trying to work it out JP had a look and then all of a sudden, as he's looking, I, I noticed it and I went, it's on the front of the, or it's on top of the, the block. And it says, but if you never try, you'll never know. I like that. And this one's just, where well, you just put it at the end or the top or the sides of your, your card or whatever you're making. So I was really pleased with that. That was that was a all that for three pound. Then I went into another charity shop, and as I come out, he's going, "What you got?" Uh, nothing. No, what you got? You can have a bit of crocheting. I mean, I've got crocheting with me. Harry Potter. And I think that was £3.50. And I thought, I've got to have that. So 
so I might film me doing bits and pieces doing this. I've got the owl of Harry Potter. I can't remember what its name is. But everything's in it, which I was really pleased. I said to the lady when I went to the counter to pay for it, I said, is everything in there? She said, if there's not, if it's not all in there, we normally put a little note on it saying like it's not got the crochet hook. Um, Can you hear my belly? <laughs> I'm a little bit hungry. Not had my breakfast yet. So everything's, everything's in now. The needle, the hook all the wall, the instructions and the stuffing. I forgot what it was called then. So I look forward to doing that. It's Harry Potter. It's a £3.50. So then I went into another charity shop. <laughs> I was... JP was like, no, not another one. But there was quite a few there. There was a couple I didn't go in. Because I thought, oh, I can't drag him. Well, he doesn't. He stands outside with the dog. But he ends up standing outside for ages. So anyway, went into this other. It was huge. It was a really big charity shop. I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> and what did I get? This was a bargain. I got a hole punch. And it's of a square. Now I looked this up online and I think you could get them from a, from about £8 up to about 15 for this size. So I might be able to do a little bit of tea bag folding with this size. I paid £2. I was just, I couldn't grab it off the shelf quick enough. I was like, oh, see that, see the price. Oh, I'll have that. I'll check to see if it's all working. Once I uh, got it in my hand, it seems to push through okay. We'll see how it cuts when I do another. Because now I've got this with me, because I didn't bring any with me, but now I've brought this, now I've bought this. Be able to do a little bit of tea bag folding. I'll have a little go and see what I can make. And then I found another little basket full of stamps and dies. It was a little bit more expensive in this um, charity shop. So I, I, one of one of the small ones that I've got in there in the pack that I pay three pound for was four pound, and I was like. No, but there was a couple of other bits that I thought, and, and some of them I already had, so I thought there's no point in me buying them. But I got another set of stamps, and this was a pound. But I liked it because it had the dandelion and the music notes. That's another birthday one. yeah and I also got out of that shop I think this is lovely it's a die cutter and like I said earlier I haven't demonstrated the die cutter yet but that will be a video not it won't be for a while because we will be traveling for a few months so it have to be later on in the year but I will definitely do one because I know a couple of ladies have asked me on here if I could show how to do the die cutting but that was three pounds so I didn't for the size of it I thought that's not too bad because these can be really expensive something like this can I think range from about yet yeah, again eight pound up to 15 it all depends in where you buy it from for a start but this one is is like you can either keep the middle or you can have it just in there. Because I think, looking at it, I, I mean, because I've not used it, I don't know what it's going to come out like. But I mean, it, that one there. It's just so pretty. That's what I like about die cutting, is it, 
it cuts out perfect you know it crisp cut I should say and so dainty all these little bits here because it's where the actual if you can see on there they're slightly raised that's what cuts but I've got a great big machine I'll put the name of the machine up what it's called because I can't remember it off the top of my head my, my, my head is just I've got so much going on so that's what I bought from the charity shop shame and then there was a I think it's called the works now I love the works you can get some really really good um, bits and pieces quite cheaply in the works and I went in there And I picked up this A5 artist sketch pad for two pound. And what I liked about this book was, is it's really smooth. So when you come to do your doodle drawing, it just comes out so lovely because some of the books are a little bit grainy so when you draw it looks a little bit jagged around the edge but because this is so smooth okay don't look too close because you'll see a few mistakes in there but um yeah i sat and looked through youtube and I had a look to see what other designs that I could draw and I thought oh I like that one so I put my own touches to it but I will be demonstrating some um, drawing like this we've done a couple of basic ones but uh, I will be showing this sort of doodle drawing in the next couple of videos don't know what when but I will be doing, one I'm doing at the moment, I'll show you quickly. Now, this might make your mind go a little bit. Rah! It's just so relaxing, but I won't take you to that stage just yet. My belly is really rumbling. <laughs> I might have to have a biscuit. Anyway, getting back to what we're talking about. So yeah, I got the I got I bought two, just had to. But there was a little when I was in there, I always check when you open a book, especially if you've got a you're buying a something to draw in or to write in. And I'm glad I did check because when I opened it, I picked one book up. I thought, yeah, that's nice. I sort of give it a good look over as you do make sure none of the corners have been dented and as I opened up the book here it's where you can tear the pages out and I'm looking at this book I've opened the pages and I'm looking at it and thinking something's not quite right can you hear my belly <laughs> Oh, I do apologise. <laughs> um, and I'm looking at it and all of a sudden I realised that the bit here that you tear out was on this side. And this side of the page was on that side. So I went up to the lady in the shop and I said, um, this book's been made wrong. She said, what do you mean it's been made wrong? And I opened it up and I showed her well, we couldn't stop laughing. She went, how the heck have they done that? She said, obviously, when it was being made, they've, the machine or someone had put it around the wrong way. I said, I won't be buying that one then. I said, because I can't tear me pages. I, can't, I could tear the pages out, but I'd then have a slimmer piece of paper. She said, no, I'll put that. I'll sort of... 
I do apologise about my belly. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway. Um, so yeah, she said, oh, I'll, I'll get in contact with the company just to make sure that, well, and go through the other books, make sure there's none in there that have got the pages round the wrong way. It's mind boggling. Then I did try to get in um, W.H. Smith um, my uni fine pens but they just didn't have them in there and they had another make but I was like I want to get those ones but when I went into the works I picked up some more of these so if you're just starting out and you just want to give it a little go just pick up these the only problem that I found with these though is they the nib doesn't last very long I might have to go and have a glass of milk or something to stop it. <laughs> um, and where's the picture that I just... So I start up... This is what I've drawn this with. All the outline is with this pen. But when it comes to colouring the big circles in, I had to get a different pen. I had to get my good old uni fine pens. I think that's what they're called. I'll put a little thing at the bottom here in what they're called. But they are brilliant. They're expensive. Um, but sometimes Amazon will do um, a bit of a deal on there. And you can get them a little bit cheaper. But uh, I think for a set, a full set that is like, from 0 point something up to a two i think of roughly about 13 pound but i just wanted to get a set of um a pack of six of 0 0.3 a 0 0.5 and a 0 0.8 because they're the three sizes that i tend to use the most but i think one of them was 7.99 for the six pens or 5.99 for three and 9.99 for, for the bigger ones and I just thought I've got lots of pens up there I really don't need them and JP knew that when when I went into this shop that I would come out with some sort of pen and I did these are a pack of three and they're a 0.38 fine line. And these are out of the works. But like I said, if you're just doing something small and you're just starting out, these are, these are really, really good. But I because I do quite detailed and quite large, like with the, the dots there, colouring that in with that size pen, it wasn't... So your best colour in that, if you're going to have big sizes like that, is using like a, a felt tip or something. Or if you do get a pack, you'll get like um, one that's called a brush inside it. And sometimes colouring that in with that. Um, but I don't always find it gives it the same effect. I know that might sound a bit strange, but I do like to colour in with the size 8 normally. 0.8 I should say but I mean I've had those um, uni pens for about four or five years I've had them for quite a while four years because I got them during Covid so JP she's got back from the shop and he must have heard my stomach row right over there because it was really loud so he's he's cooking breakfast he's slaving away at the stove like normal you're a fantastic cook. I know. <laughs> Better than me. Be. <laughs> what have we got anyway? Um, I've made two hog roast. Made? <laughs> sausage rolls. Oh, yeah. You well, I went make... down to butchers and I had sausage rolls in there, fresh baked ones. Oh, so I did that. Oh, okay. I watched them being baked. Oh, okay. 
So I'm going to go and eat my, uh, when it's cooked, I'm going to go and eat my sausage roll because my stomach's really <laughs> rumbling. See you in a minute. I'm just going to show you Raven. <laughs> He's so cute. Be comfortable. dog's knife in it so this is what I'm gonna have to stop my uh, tummy from rumbling this is what JP made mm -hmm. <laughs> looks lovely so I'll see you in a minute oh, fine. Ooh, that dog out there just lays about when he's out for a walk, he runs everywhere. But when he's when he's sitting around the van, that's what he does. Oh, hopefully now my belly won't rumble anymore. But that was lovely. Right, where was I? Where was I? I can't remember now. I think I'll talk about the pens. I think if I wasn't, not to worry. Um, so yeah, going back to these pens, they're they're okay. I've just got my 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 little bag of pens that I like to use, and it's Uni Pin. Oh, I think it's just where um I've just eaten. <laughs> I do apologise. Um, so yeah, these are the pens. Oh, is that in focus? That I love to use worth every penny and like I say I've had these for quite some time now but these ones will if you just want to have a go or if you haven't got you think now I just want to give it a little go just use a biro biro is just as just as good um, I also use this make as well so um, like I've said in another video, I used to use these at school. If you had nice handwriting, you could use them. And you can get, um, I think they're called fine and they were like a blue colour. That's if they're still that colour. And you get all different colours in them. So they're nice pens as well. But going away from pens, a video that I am planning to do and I have bought with me. I think I've bought it all with me. I think I've got the hook. I think I've got it with me. Anyway, if I haven't, I'll just use my fingers. Is I'm going to do a demonstration on loom knitting. I've only bought my small one. It's very similar to the back in the day um, when I was a child. Yet again, um, they used to do one uh, like dolly knitting or French knitting. Put down below if you can remember what it's called because it's the one with the four i think they used to even make it with like little nails or they've got little bent bits over and it used to like made like a cordage and it's got a hole in the center and they either get just a plain wooden one or it's got like a little face or something in it and this is very similar but obviously it's got a lot more around the edge this is the smallest one i think it's the smallest one i've, I've got yeah, it is because I've got a set that does this size and then they go up in different sizes. So I'm going to do a demonstration on loom knitting. So if you're not into knitting or crocheting and you want to give something a go with wool, I'll demonstrate this. So I look forward to doing that because I haven't done this for a long time. This is what I'm liking about doing this. YouTube videos is the fact that I've got all this craft stuff that I have but because I've got so much I get lost in what I've got so every now and then I'll go through my cupboards and I think oh I haven't done that for ages I'll do a demonstration on that I mean I've got a knitting machine that you know where you turn the handle and you can like make beanie hats and things like that I've got one of those at home as well so but that will have to be another video in when I get back. So for the time being, it will be me doing 
the loom knitting. I'm quite excited. I don't know what I'm going to make. I think I'm just going to just demonstrate how how it's used and just do a tube with a sort of like maybe I could if it's stretchy enough I can have it as a hat. I could make a hat for Raven. I could make a dog hat. But that's not an idea. Anyway. I hope you like that little video. It's a little bit different today. No crafts at all today. Just showing you what I bought from the charity shops and um, some ideas in what I'm going to be doing in the next couple of videos. I will um, start off that Harry Potter and just show you bits and pieces. I won't do the whole thing because it will take me absolutely ages because I like to pick it up, do a few stitches and then I put it away and then I'll do something else. But I'll just I'll show you my progress of making the Harry Potter and if anybody is interested in how you go about making something like that, let me know again in the comments and I can then sort of show you the basic because there's you have to do when I did the other videos doing the granny square, you go in you go in um or going backwards and forwards, it's rows. But when you do a, one of those toys, it's you do it in rounds. But I'll explain all that in my video. But that'll be something that I'll do over the next couple of months. Anyway, I would just like to say, welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you for coming over. Um, put a comment below, introducing yourself and saying hi. And also a huge big thank you to all my old subscribers. You mean so much to me. Your comments just brighten my day. I, I love it. I love reading what people are getting up to, what crafts they've been trying that I've shown. So if you haven't, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. I know a few people on here as they've said to me, that they're sharing my videos as much as they can. And I really appreciate that. Thank you. It really means a lot. And uh, thank you for supporting me and joining me on this crafting journey. I'm going to try and do a few little, uh, a bit like this one, a little vlog where I just sit and talk. So if you're sitting in and you want to have a, uh, a a nap. I've been told by very many people that I've got a calming voice and that they could sit and listen to me forever and ask me to read a book. Someone even asked me to read the phone directory because I'm just so calming. JP wouldn't say that. <laughs> but anyway, it's been lovely sitting here showing you these bits and pieces. And put a comment in what you think, if I should do these little, just little vloggy things. Like if I go to a charity shop, would you like to see me buying, or not so much buying, but finding what crafts are in there. And then if there's anything different, or buy some more stamps, or anything else, some wool. Um, I'll just show you that of what you can get in these charity shops. You have to look in some of them. Some of them, are, they display them really nicely and you can see that that's the craft section. But some are hidden inside boxes. So anyway, I'm off again. I'm going to go and sit and have a nice little chill out after I've eaten that sausage roll. I do apologise of my belly making that much noise. But I was starving. I didn't realise how hungry I was. But anyway, you all take care. And Sammy... Which crafts are we going to do next? I think I might try the loom knitting. It'll either be loom knitting or I might do like a little zen drawing. Because I know a few of you on here are enjoying the zen drawings or doodle drawings. And um, they're just so relaxing. But uh, anyway, I'm going because I'm waffling on as I always do. You take care, have a great day, and I'll see you on the next video. You'll take care now. Oh, and don't forget, 
pop over to JP's channel, JP Lamaru, and um, oh, it's JP Lamaru Travels, and I'll put a little logo up here somewhere, and uh, you can catch up with what we're doing and where we are and what adventures we're going to be doing. Got lots to do. Anyway, you take care and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.